And welcome back, everyone, to a, another episode of Two Super Gamers Playthrough, Sonic Adventure 1. Got your boy Zero here again. It's, it's episode 2. You said number 1. That's the Sonic Adventure 1. Oh, Sonic Adventure Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, joining us again is our good friend, <laughs> Bobtastic. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. And, of course, <laughs> Nanas is over here. Frustrated. What the trip. hell? <laughs> what did you just fall through? I I I don't know why they put so many open rails in this game that you can go through. <laughs> oh god. I you didn't even know that. The one point in time where you're supposed to put an invisible wall and they fail at that too? Yep. Look at that! What the fuck? Oh, it's you supposed gotta, to be a barrier. You gotta respect Nintendo, right? Mario 64 was their first try, and they nailed it. <laughs> Sega didn't get it, and they kind of still didn't get it in 2018. Nah, you're Life spot on. You're absolutely right power. about that. It's crazy. That like blew my mind in like a sad way. I was like, you're so right. It's really hard to be a Sonic fan. It is, yeah. It is. So wait, what do I do? You have to... Get all the rings back by pressing the button. Use the light dash no, the red button on the floor. Yeah, press that. And then you have to charge. You have to do the roll charge on Sonic until he says ready. What? Yeah, and then, yeah. He follows a ring trail. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. So then you could go upstairs in the hotel and do it on that trail too. There we go. I also like that in the last episode, I didn't actually play a Sonic level, because we were wasting time in the, the overworld. In the Chow Garden. Yeah. Oh, wait, go back to that store real quick. I want to show you something. So, uh, if you go to the products in the window... Over here? Yeah, see that? That's a rare Chow egg. But if you pick it up, the, like, the doors lock in the thing, so you have to find a rock outside in the field to and break the swap them out. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. That's, that's like Thank you for letting us know, viewers. And the you... rock is in that school's like. Uh, Over here. Yeah, the the courtyard inside the like police station thing. It's in one of the grass patches somewhere. That reminds me. All of... right, so anybody watching, and if you guys played Sonic Adventure before, and don't know There's... the secret. Oh, yeah. oh my God. That reminds me of the uh, bucket funny. thing in uh, Skyrim, where you put a bucket on over the shopkeeper's head oh, and you yeah. take everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so stupid. Except I, I think this is intentional. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That was uh, that was in a uh, bug basically, or something they didn't realize. Uh, where the fuck do I go? Uh oh, it's night, so you could go to the casino. But if oh. you want, you can go do that thing upstairs in the hotel. I'd rather do that first. Yeah. Dude. There was. There was something also that you could exploit to level up uh, the, no, skills. No, I'm trying to go to the hotel. What the fuck am I? This is the train station. Damn it. They all look the same. Skyrim is very exploitable. Yes. Yeah. So this is the train station. That's hotel, the hotel is over. Yeah. Oh, I see. Get the fuck in there. Oh, wow, wow. It's, yeah, up the wow. stairs. By the way, I got excited for like a second when I, when I heard that there's a casino in this. And it's like, um... Not All that right. kind of casino. Charge it, yeah, while you're on that one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Charge it first. So when you're charged fully, you could hold the button, and he stays blue, and I guess you could press the button and then let go and go on the rings, but I'm not entirely sure. Now press the other. Go, go, go. There you go. I made it! I was like... Genuinely nervous there. Where the fuck? That was actually really cool. What am I supposed to do? Oh, you're not touching it. That's why. <laughs> Is, I'm supposed to touch that little blue thing? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody shoot me. <laughs> This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Oh boy. Now you're fully upgraded. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Yep. There's nothing else? Yeah. No, I, I think there's like one other thing, but I'm not sure. Jesus Christ, a camera angle. So now, uh, 
one of the not this one there's another door that takes you to the casino at night this one I think yeah uh, I hate the casino area it sucks it's the worst it really is oh, alright let's get this over what oh, the man. fuck well let me in there's a red button somewhere of course oh yeah and don't put it at the door yeah no just out of camera view it made uh it made rings what where the fuck are the rings uh oh what uh, you gotta do it fast <laughs> just like everything sonic has to do very much that's too cryptic yep yeah <laughs> i'm so <laughs> and I did this before too. That's what's bothering me. It's just like a casino opulence. Oh, there you are, Tails. Where the fuck have you been? What's up? Yeah, his flying ability could have really helped there. Yeah, right. Um, I never thought about that actually. What I also don't like is that at the end of each level, the point of the level is to get the Chaos Emerald. I kind of feel like the fun thing with the Chaos Emeralds is that you had to try to get them. Oh know? yeah, they it were wasn't extra. the objective. Yeah. And it was hard. It was difficult. You had to beat those damn bonus stages. So this is not like a real level. This is just a level where you have to try to get coins. Oh you mean rings? Yeah, 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 rings, yeah. Sonic's lifeblood and also money. <laughs> it's oh, hard to keep an eye on Sonic too. That's the worst part. And it's a reference for, uh, there's a reference to Knights. Yeah. Why well, haven't they made another Knights game, you know? They did remake it for the Wii, but I feel like nobody cared. Which is sad, because it's kind of a good game. I might pick that up. It's also on PSN, I think. And I know I have it on Steam, Nights. Um, Nights into Dreams? Yeah. I forgot what the objective is. Just Is it just to get coins, or what? You need to get a lot of coins. And then use that to continue, you right? You can climb on the coins. They pile up. It makes like a big Scrooge McDuck pool of rings. I remember. Yeah, uh, yeah I have to, we have to fill up the pool so we can get to the top and then continue. Oh, fucking ass. At least they put a good game in this game. <laughs> pinball. <laughs> I should have just put it as a Sonic's Pinball. It's just an arcade machine you play Sonic's Pinball. <laughs> They had that in one of the. They had that in Donkey Kong 64. You could play the original Donkey Kong on an arcade cabinet. Huh. That was great. DK that was actually 64 is. Uh, it's a cool game, but it's. It's a little rough. Donkey it's, Kong 64. It's got a lot of collectibles. <laughs> oh yeah. I never beat it. I never figured out how to beat it. I got lost right before you get to the last level. I think it is, or one of the last crystal something. That's a shame. Cause... Pers yeah. Personally, um, I never really got into the rare platformers. Really? Everyone says they're, they're amazing. They're good, but the, the the thing about rare platformers is that uh, they're collectathons. Yeah. That's what they really are. So if you don't like having to collect a bunch of shit, it's not then you're you. yeah you might not like it. But if you can see past it, you're gonna see a lot of amazing. Conkers, fun. banjo. Mm-hmm. I always preferred Crash and Spyro, honestly, but... Dude, I'm with you. <laughs> there was there was more to do than... To, I mean, there was always something you collected in those games. Yeah. But it wasn't the main objective. Uh, in the rare games, the main objective is to collect. Mm. And, uh, nice job, Microsoft, doing absolutely nothing with rare. Except <laughs> one good thing. Sea of On, Thieves. Yeah, they tried Sea of Thieves, and then that ended no, up being shit. No, I'm not talking about Sea of Thieves. I'm talking about the rare collection. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is the laziest thing you could do. The laziest, most unoriginal. Thankful, like it's a good thing, but it's not that original. And instead, you're just sitting on that de developer. Funny thing is, uh, somebody asked the I forgot his name. The guy who runs Xbox. He's always at the E3 press conference. Yeah, I know who you mean. Phil Spencer? Yeah, Phil Spencer. Phil they Spencer. asked him, they were like, hey, if Nintendo wanted to put Banjo in Smash, would you be okay with that? And he, he said yeah. He said yeah. He was like, totally, but they never asked me. Yeah. All right, well, Nintendo so... and Microsoft are getting buddy buddies. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah they're weird, becoming right? buddy buddies. 
Uh, so where do I where do I put the coins? There's a there's an opening somewhere in this circle. Formation. Yeah, that's the ball. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I figured. Yeah, get out of the way. Man, this is making me want to go to Vegas. <laughs> Haven't you gone to Vegas before? I have. Yeah. Yeah, for Evo, right? Yeah, and I was thinking about that. They had a they had an awesome Virtual Fighter tournament this year. I wanted to go to that. They did VF. Uh, as a side tournament, mm. but yeah, but it was official. Sega had put it here. Wow. They haven't had that since a while, I think. Like, it's been a few years. Oh, come on, Sega. Come on. All right, so now we need to get is. more coins. Yo, they had a DOA side tournament. Yeah. It was, it was a mini, two mini tournaments for DOA 6, and then a full tournament for DOA 5. Nice. Six thousand dollars. You know how wow. much Sega put down for the Virtua Fighter tournament? How much? Five hundred bucks. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, 500 bucks in Vegas is like chump change. Yeah. You can get like maybe two drinks and then end up probably passed out for 500 bucks. <laughs> well, you could definitely the top of a on top of a hotel or something. Mm -hmm. The funny thing about Vegas, the second you get off the airplane in the airport, there are casino like wow. slot machines. There are slot machines in stores that have nothing to do with casinos. I've never been to Vegas. That sounds pretty funny. It's a trip. That sounds yeah. ridiculous. It's a trip. Hey guys, don't think we're hating on Sega. We oh, no, criticize I... them because we love them. We cr I Look, criticizing cause... isn't necessarily hating. It's yeah. it's pointing out things that they need to fix. I'm criticizing because want... I want a VF6 already. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm criticizing because I want them to do better. I want Jet Set Radio 3. Yes! <laughs> For the love of God, you Skies have all these Arcadia amazing IPs. <laughs> you Please. have all these amazing IPs, guys. Don't be like Microsoft. Yeah, we were just talking about Microsoft. Oh, okay, so more coins. That's, that's exactly what we were need. It's funny, because Microsoft uh, Xbox was supposed to be like the second Dreamcast, pretty much. They kind of treated it that way for a while. Yeah. And then Nintendo and uh, Sega became friends somehow. And then the Sonic games came out on GameCube instead. Which was like blasphemous at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tick, tick, tack, back. The t t well, I don't Kick know. back. Oh, the kickback yeah, is back. Yeah, open the thing for you again. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I, I do like this. Do you, do you want to play... It? Oh. That's, that's some bullshit. Also, what balls? You mean Sonic's? Yeah. Sonic is the ball. <laughs> he can give you blue balls. Ooh. Because he is a blue ball. <laughs> this game is one. <laughs> oh wow! Yo, that's the best description. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. There's some kids on DeviantArt who are really mad at you right now. <laughs> Good, fuck them. <laughs> Do you think we give a shit? We don't. We don't need the. We don't need the DeviantArt crowd. Those kids are also actually getting blue balls from Sonic. <laughs> it's fucked up because it's like, man, you want this game to be really good, but yeah. like you said, this is their first try and just. Not even, because they the same people who created this, didn't they create a uh, Nights into Dreams? Dude, I could play I could play I Super no Mario idea. 64 right now and have a blast. Oh yeah, it's great. Which we should definitely put on the channel if Nintendo doesn't uh, try to sue uh, us into just, oblivion. Just turn the audio track down. I was watching a, a Breath of the Wild video the other day and he just turned the audio all the way down, so he was just talking over it. It's not the best, but you know, what can you do? This should be faster. This is annoying me right now. I watch Mario 64 speedrunning every night on Twitch. It's like... I'm like addicted to watching it for some reason. But I won't do it. <laughs> My god. I think you have enough rings to beat the level now. Are you sure? Because I got over 100 and I said I, I didn't get high enough. Well, now you have like 300. No, but it, it, it accumulates with the old ones you got, so... I, I figured. Alright, let me just use up this last ball. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay, thank god. I was about to get mad. Wait, what? 
What? You're on the left side. Yeah, I know. I see it. I don't. I don't understand yeah, what's going good. on. You're good. Oh my god, that was so slow. Right? It's a little weird, right? It's like they made this game in Unity or something. Oh. <laughs> did it? Did you? Was Unity a thing back then? No, no, no way. I thought so. As a matter of fact, I think if they had made it in Unity, it would have been better. Yeah. Yeah, because Sega, you can't make a fucking game engine. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Sonic Team is the most hit or miss team ever. Because they, in this era, they also made Fantasy Star Online. Oh, wow. Which is crazy. Which is fantastic. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure it's the same engine as this game. Because I doubt they made a bunch of engines. So it's unfortunate that the Unreal Engine didn't exist in the form that it did back then. Yeah. Because if it had, maybe they could have used that instead and we would have gotten a good Sonic a better Sonic, uh... Oh, they put me right in front of the vault. Thank That's you. That's nice. That's actually very nice. Thank you. Let's see... And now to shake the living hell out of Sonic. I think you can get it. Yeah. You have enough. There you go. Holy shit, that took forever. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here you go, Ollie. Cool. You, you, you played your heart's content. You know this game... Nothing. Why is Tails just standing there? You gotta see for that. Oh, okay. I, I, you know, the, the grading in this game is still a mystery to me. I still get a C on every level. Oh, look, another item. Do, do, do. That, that takes you to the snowy level, right? Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Well, the music just abruptly stopped. Like, completely. It didn't even fade. Oh no, the chaos How do they drop it? Oh no, you don't! Oh yes, they will. Oh. Ooh. He poison gassed them. Amen. Amen. It's gonna be like that scene from Uncharted 3. <laughs> I, remember, I know what you're talking about. What scene? I'm confused. Uh, the poison oh, I remember now. Never mind. The you one where he's running through the street and shit. What happened to that? Uncharted 3 gets a lot of hate, but I is like his that. eye? Floating on top? He, he's got one eye. No, I understand that. I'm not questioning that. <laughs> I'm talking about like his his iris. Is oh, it yeah. floating on top of his <laughs> it's like one a little eyeball? texture floating on top. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Was that Tails flying? Yeah, it was Tails flying away. Alright, so here's uh, not as cryptic because they showed you a cutscene about it. Yeah. But it doesn't but, tell you how to get there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I say fuck any game where you can't figure out what the fuck to do. Like, they just don't tell you anything. I don't like cryptic games, man. Yeah. I mean, okay, I don't want to be told everything. Yeah. But you definitely got to be given some signs. Like, some of the... Yeah. Some sort of hint. If, the, if, if they Ali teach you the mechanics, right? You should know how to do everything. Yeah. If, uh, if Ali and Hans weren't here... I don't think I'd get... I definitely wouldn't be this far, but I, I don't know if I how far I would be able to get into this game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Camera control is desperately needed here. Oh, God. Well, oh, okay. This, this is not the same as the other level. Yep. It's not. It's not even like a warp room or anything. Like, it, like it, it, if it had been a warp room, where you just have to take an item to, better. But no, yeah. you have to go to two different hub worlds, and then find the correct path, and then float somewhere to get to the correct place to warp to your new place. I I now understand why Sonic 06 was so bad. This is probably what they were going off of. Yeah, they were trying to emulate this, but it's somehow it's way worse than this too. Yeah. yeah. Because so, if you gave me an option between this and Sonic 06, I'd play this. Yeah. Good thing. Good thing we didn't get a suggestion for 06. If I got, if I got you guys a copy of 06, would you play it? I feel like As a showcase to, only, <laughs> and only if you drug me. <laughs> Full playthrough next week. No. <laughs> Don't make me cry, Nanis. Not again. Not after New Jersey. Oh. oh, what happened in Jersey? Don't ask. <laughs> Atlantic City. I had a bad experience in Atlantic City as well. I've actually never been. 
I went and my uh, ID was expired, so I wasn't allowed into anything. Ah. <laughs> I went to Atlantic City and uh, I made out with 30 bucks. Oh, nice. After having entered with 300. I didn't know you could I'm kiss kidding. money. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, you could, I don't recommend it. You might get AIDS on your lips. Oh. Um, nice. uh, I. Oh. I know that uh, oh, the next is over there. Fantastic camera control. I was going the right way too. That's weird. Hey, look, you're running on the wall. Now, if that wasn't there, is there fall damage in this game? No. Sonic's shoes are too nice for that. <laughs> He's got those Dr. Schultz. <laughs> So those spikes are not menacing at all, and uh, you can dodge them easy. You just go around spikes in this game because it's 3D, but they put the spikes in like 2D locations. <laughs> uh, like I see what they were trying Terrible to do, but it, come design. on, look at that. Who's gonna get hit by those? You have to try to get hit those. You have, you have to try to hit them. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. You should. You should have to try. You should have to try to dodge them. Yeah, you should have to dodge them, not. My god, did they forget how to make a Sonic game? What the fuck? They really... I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna agree with me here, Ollie. Yeah. The, the people who are developing Sonic Adventure really should have, like, played Crash oh. and a little bit of Spyro and take ideas from them because in Crash... They knew that just playing straightforward or exploring and stuff was going to be boring, so they mixed it up with some side-scrolling. I think Crash would have been a good game for them to play because it was linear, yeah. and Sonic would have benefited from that, honestly. Yeah, because this open-world, oh, quote-unquote, quote, quote, open-world bullshit the level? doesn't work. No, I think that they just... Oh. I think they just shouldn't have made Sonic 06, and if they were going to make a Sonic game... They should have just stick, stuck to the original style. No, I'm glad they tried 3D, it's just they really needed... they needed help. I still have a lot of fond memories of this game, but it really doesn't hold up. No, it doesn't. Jet Set Radio holds up way better. Oh yeah! Jet Set Radio was like well put together, uh, less glitchy, although still some glitches. Yeah. yeah. Like the glitching didn't get in the way here, it's just constant bugs and annoyances. And Jet Set Radio is uh, kind of a weird game because when you go into it, you don't realize... Like, you go into it thinking the gameplay is different than it actually is. Mm -hmm. You have to actually, like, learn the nuances of the controls to actually beat that game. Yeah. It's not like... Because I feel like a lot of people go into it thinking it's like Tony Hawk or something. <laughs> it's not like that at That's all. That's what I went into thinking. Which, by the way, we need to play through a Tony Hawk game. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. You guys do that. I want to be there. We had a. Which one did we do? For the triad? Project A. Project A. That's a good game. A lot of people trash on it, but it's. You kidding me? In comparison to what came out. Talking about five. Yeah, Pro Skater Five. And a few other ones too. The ride games are stupid. Oh man. The ones where you had the actual peripheral. I recently discovered Underground 1 because I never played it, and it's really good. Like, it, it became, like, one of my favorite ones. Didn't they release that for the PSP? No, that's 2. Underground, Underground 2, two? yeah. I want to see if they have it on the PlayStation Vita PlayStation Store. Yeah, maybe. And if, and if I can download that, I'd be so happy. I think the only recent memory Tony Hawk game that could actually be considered good might be, and I don't know because I didn't play it, but it seems like it would work. Uh, the one that was on the Wii, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. Oh, yeah. I heard that was okay. I feel like that one was actually, like, okay. I feel bad for Tony, because I feel like he genuinely cares about the games, and Activision just screwed him. Yeah. And probably just bent him over the freaking sink and said, here you go, Tony. Yeah. You wanted a game? Don't you get it, Tony? We could release anything and make money. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Activision. <laughs> could take a shit, put it in a game case. Bobby yeah. kodak has got his legs up on the table. He's got a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Do, wait, doesn't he work for Coca-Cola now? Does he? Oh, huh. I heard, so. I heard he's he's gone. 
He works for Coca-Cola now. I heard he was actually a pretty good guy. <laughs> I feel bad <laughs> making fun of him. I mean, you he know, probably, the if company he, was, if he, he worked for. If yeah. he would hear us talk like this, he'd probably laugh his ass off. <laughs> So where am I going? Yeah, you just leave. I'll find a picture of him and see if I can like Photoshop his face on a person <laughs> smoking a cigar or whatever. That would be great. Do the uh, the Spider Man meme where he's like he's laughing, the guy with the cigar. Oh, Jameson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bring me some pictures of Spider Man. There's this amazing meme. Oh, go to the left. There's this amazing meme on the net. Uh, basically, it's someone text messaging a girl, like a guy text messaging a girl. He goes, uh, send me a picture. And the girl's like, <laughs> what do you want to see, winky face? And the guy says, Spider-Man. <laughs> what? Oh, and then yeah. it's an image That's of the child guard me, yeah. In there, yeah. It's the image of the guy from the Daily Bugle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was a it's good one. so fantastic. That's a great meme. I love the internet so much. The you need knuckles for that. Yeah, oh. that's right. Okay. Wait, don't, wait, don't we unlock them next? I think we're about to unlock him, yeah. Isn't that... Oh no, that's just a robot. You need Knuckles for that, too. Yeah. He breaks the cages with his fists. So what am I here for? Oh, no, not here. Uh, go out. Huh? You're uh, here for moral support. The other way, yeah. I came in that way. Yeah, yeah. You just went this the, wrong the wrong way. This is the wrong way, yeah. Oh, okay. Just go, uh, go back to, the, like, the lake area. Well, it pisses me off, too. What? Those those people, those freaking explorer people, whatever, they stand there and they don't really do anything. No, they're not exploring anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Compelling. This is a Sonic game. Yeah. Yes. Go go that way. Yeah. Over over uh, under way? there. Yeah. Straight ahead. Aren't you having fun, Nanners? Oh uh, no! Don't go in. Not there. in there. To, okay, to the right. The music is really. Goofy. It fits, but it's really weird. No, uh, to the right more. So Walk I, around. I know, the camera's awful. I can't, yeah. like, tell you directions. I, Over there. <laughs> into that grassy area. There. I, I just... It's hard. It's really hard. Because you can't look around. Half the time, I feel like I'm already on the end of the level, but yeah. there's more stuff. Yeah. What's up, Knuckles? Whoa. Something bugging you? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, your eyes. Why are they twitching so much? Right now. What? Let's just see you take them. <laughs> I mean, Eggman took them pretty easily. <laughs> yep. So I have to fight and Knuckles yeah, is way more Knuckles. formidable. Oh, you great. need to get rings. I didn't play a whole level yet. Now I have to fight a boss in this game. You just have to jump. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you don't have rings. I know. I so know. you gotta grab them. It'd be easy if the movement was more natural. Oh no! Oh no! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I have been struck. <laughs> it's like a speed racer. Ha ha! <laughs> Knuckles, I got you! Haha! -ha. They're just in the That's voice it. acting booth and they're like, That's it? Act like somebody stole your wallet. That was the boss fight? <laughs> that was it? In in Sonic 3, Knuckles is so menacing. Yeah. He traps you. He, like, screws you over at every turn. In this game, you hit him on the head three times and that's it. He just takes him. I just realized, can you die in this game? Like, can you get a game over? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. If you run out of lives... Yeah. Which, by the way, we have a shit ton. <laughs> yeah. That's right, fool. Oh, there's so many awkward pauses. You practically gave them to me. Yeah, basically. Yeah, Knuckles. Like, if you haven't learned before. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead. <laughs> really? You're just gonna shrug it off? Meanwhile, he's just holding it there, and you can run faster than sound, and you can't go and grab it? Nope. Can't just jump on his head and kill him, like in the boss fights. It's Flubber! <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! You should play that next. Was there a Flubber game? There no, should be. I mean, there probably was. You know, they always made movie games. I missed that. <laughs> 
Remember oh, in the 360 era when people would go rent like movie games just to get all the achievements? I don't because I never had a 360. Hmm. But that sounds yeah. like an easy way to get achievements. Yeah. You have to fight him too? Yeah. yeah. He's not that tough. Chaos 4. And again, the, the health bar doesn't go all the way to the ends. They may wow, what an attack. He did nothing to me. What hit me? I don't know. Man, I gotta say, Ali, I understand nostalgia, but... Yeah! You... Uh, what do you <laughs> see in this? <laughs> I don't understand. I, I'll admit, it's not good anymore. But it's so dated! I just remember coming home with my Dreamcast and playing this game. Oh my god. And it was amazing. You came home to your Dreamcast and it's just there on the bed going, Hey there, baby. <laughs> you ready for some more Sonic? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, slippery controls, acting. no camera controls. Yeah. Bad voice acting, give it to me. Did I hit him? No. Now yeah, he you hit gotta, you though with sparkles. You gotta wait until his brain turns pink and you can hit it. Damn it, get the thing. Are, by the way, are you standing on the water? Yep. It oh. does I don't actually have to stand on those pads, I can just jump on the water. <laughs> Which begs the question, why even have them? Is his brain pink yet? No. It's pink, you just- See, look! Oh, you f you get hurt if you stay standing still too much. Oh. I didn't even know that, honestly. What?! <laughs> Did you see that? Nan is so sorry that you have to do this. Well, it's alright. This has got to be one of the most awkward boss fights I've ever had. I feel personally responsible because I think I suggested You this suggested game. this and you voted for it, so... <laughs> you, are, you are the problem, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and the, well, worst, actually, the worst part about it is you know how bad it is. Well, we, and you still so suggested it. We had a lot of people vote for this. A lot of people wanted to see us play this. This game is very popular. I find that so strange. I understand why it's popular. It's just... God damn. Oh, oh. And I was there so you go. close. When Sonic Mania came out, people were like, so when are you guys going to make Sonic Adventure Mania? Or just Sonic Adventure 3 with yeah. good controls. People just really want that. I don't... How did you hit him? <laughs> I just what? got him as his brain turned pink. Hmm. Which is really hard to see, so... I just assume he always has it, so I just keep going for him. Goddamn. There we go. Zero, do you realize how close we are to Soul Calibur 6? Oh! <laughs> That's gonna get on the channel. I, I, I love it, my girlfriend loves it, my family loves it, I love Soul Calibur. Yeah, Soul Calibur is amazing. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good time for fighting games. Sort of. VF6. It's getting there. Oh, they put Lei Wu Long in Tekken 7. I can't wait. He's my he's my favorite character. I agree. He's Brad, but in Tekken. <laughs> yeah. Shunen in Tekken. I want to I want to cross over those three games so I can do Shun versus Brad versus Lei. Yeah. And we can find which one is the strongest. I wonder if DOA Six is gonna have uh, VF characters in it. That's an interesting question. It happened before. Yeah, and it also had Mai for King Hit him! Well. Yes! Yeah, you did. Thank yeah. God! Nice. <sighs> Alright, that's all the time we got. Woo! Man, that was you, terrible! You should get a level in after those two boss fights, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you start the next episode. Oh, um, unskippable cutscene. We should just. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's fire it out, I guess. It's probably not long. We get it. It's a freaking airship. <laughs> this is all really big and ominous. And That's the end of the cutscene, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> An egg carrier. This music is so funky! The bass and the... They did a great job with the soundtrack. Kind of reminds me of that menu song from Third Strike. Oh, oh yeah. my god. That's true, it does sound like that.
I want to. I really want to do a third strike Wednesday night fight. Thing. Third strike is big over there. They already do tons of tournaments, so you get some crazy people to show up. I love third strike. Same. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. You untrustworthy bastard. <laughs> Even in Sonic Advance, he gets tricked by freaking Robotnik again, or Eggman, whatever the fuck you want to call him. All right, that's the real end of the episode. Uh, this has been this has been episode two of our playthrough of Sonic Adventure One. Thank you to our special guest Ali for joining us and walking us through this episode. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Check him out, Boltastic, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Um. Don't forget to smash that like button and give another smash of that subscribe button. Um, Ali, I'm pretty sure you wanted to tell him to comment something. Oh, yeah. So uh, in the last episode, they said to comment on games that uh, you guys want them to play. Everyone comment Shenmue. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I want to see nothing but Shenmue in the comments. That's right. Um, other than that, everyone, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode three. See you Bye. next time. See you later.